all these TV so let's go on with the player ratings then it's got it's just, just the easiest one I probably do all season so let's start with Bailey Peacock Farrell 7 out of 10 nice and solid there was one cross that came into the box where he came and didn't quite reach it but other than that he was pretty faultless then you go on to Gaetano Berardi I thought solid made one slight little error but recovered quickly 8 out of 10 some lovely use of the ball great performance off Berra and then looking at the centre of the defence Calvin Phillips outstanding 9 out of 10 nice and solid some brilliant challenges use of the ball was outstanding again as well so, you know cross field everything uh, Liam Cooper 8 out of 10 proper captain's performance I've been critical in the past but if he plays like that all season we've got a real player in the hands um, great finisher of goal as well 8 out of 10 and then moving on to the second three if you like Luke Aylin 7 out of 10 nice and solid had the control of James McLean throughout and then Matthews Click in the middle of the park 9 out of 10 lovely finish used the ball really well and just controlled the midfield the battle against Joe Allen he won hands down and then Barry Douglas 8 out of 10 brilliant ball in for the goal got a bit unlucky with the penalty but I just thought all around you can just see why this guy was left back for the champions last season he is the best left back in the league and you could even argue he's one of the best left backs outside the top six of the Prem brilliant player Samu Saif 7 out of 10 lovely use of the ball great pass for Cleek's goal a little bit quiet second half but the quality's there you know if we can get him to produce performances like that for the rest of the season we've got we've got the old Samu side back if you like and then Pablo Hernandez on the right Pablo's Pablo just an incredible player good goal you know maybe he got a bit lucky with the you know the keeper in that lot but he works he absolutely worked his socks off he covered Luke Aylin brilliantly he created and he was just outstanding. He got a bit lucky, unlucky at the end where he put a lovely little ball into the back post of Jack Harrison. Not quite a goal, but brilliant. And then through the middle, Kemar Roof, 8 out of 10. He might have missed a chance early on and he might not have scored, but he just caused so many problems. You know, I'll mention in the uh, post-match review as well, the amount of different runs he made in behind Ryan Shawcross in Indy. And he just moved that Soak City back four all over the place and he made things easier for Hernandez and Alioski. And that's on to Alioski, 7 out of 10. You know, he was unlucky not to score today. He made the um, sorry, he made the second goal for Pablo. I just thought he was brilliant. You know, he worked hard. And that's Alioski at his best as well. And the substitutions, Lewis Baker, and trying to think now who the other one was. Jack Harrison, I can't really rate because, oh, Dallas as well, sorry. Harrison. You know, didn't really play enough minutes to rate but you can see with Harrison some lovely touches even though he played about five minutes Baker the same Stuart Dallas he came on played about 15 minutes at the end and it was a typical Stuart Dallas performance he's the exact kind of player you want to want to bring on when you're trying to close out a big game he did his job in the middle of the park brilliant performance 7 out of 10 and Marcelo Bielsa got to have a rating for Marcelo 10 out of 10 if he can produce this you know this is what you want from Marcelo Bielsa this is why we're paying the guy however much a year just brilliant unbelievable all East TV make sure you leave in the comments down below your personal ratings and I'll see you later